Welcome back everybody. It is the 7th of October and uh, we're, it's in the afternoon. We're set up in an old uh, feeder wagon that we that we had parked down here below the barn uh, next to this little food plot that I put in the last four or five years. This year I did it uh, kind of non-traditionally. I, I uh, sprayed it, burned it, spread the seed, uh, uh, dragged it with this uh, drag and uh, it's kind of like a poor man's plot and it came up pretty good and there's been quite a few deer out here. Uh, Carl planted a uh, triticale or a winter rye mix in the cornfield all around here so all the corn that was in the field is no longer on the ground it's kind of buried by dirt. They took and disked it in and uh, so really right now this is the only food that's down here. Uh, the neighbors got a little bit of standing corn across the cornfield over here, but we're right here tucked in uh, in the corner. There's really thick bedding all around, straight out in front and to my right. We got a stiff, stiff wind out of the southwest, actually gusting up to 25 mile an hour, which is another reason why I didn't go in a tree stand this evening. The conditions aren't great, but uh, nothing's going to smell me over here most likely the deer are going to come right out of the stick stuff and they're going to want to stay kind of I think in the cover of the brush they don't like getting right out in these open fields when it's just windy out from what I've experienced deer hunting uh, I have seen deer that have come right across this field the cornfield out behind me and come all the way across into this food plot but today we do have the recurve we are going to try to recurve a big fat doe comes in here nice and close. Uh, I'm itching to let one rip with the recurve. I really get a kick out of uh, shooting deer with that. I'm still coming down from my bear hunt uh, on the 5th of October. Man, that was so exciting. I I, I, I lost it. I was, had so much adrenaline going and I was uh, been wanting to kill a bear for so many years and like it all just, all the emotions just came out and it was crazy. If you guys haven't watched that video yet, uh, be sure to go back and check it out. It, it's certainly going to be one of the most memorable haunts I've ever had in my life. Uh, a part of the reason I was so worked up is I had to watch that bear for like what seemed like an eternity. In reality, it was only like eight minutes I watched it for before I finally had an opportunity to stand and draw and shoot. But man, <laughs> you could have you could have seen my heart rate been off the charts but I'm excited to sit in here for the first time this year it's it's a really cool little spot uh, we're out of the wind and uh, there's a chance that it's gonna rain later on tonight so we're gonna be out of the rain as well there has been a ton of deer coming out in here I have a trail camera set up on a hanging vine over there and uh, there's just been a ton of deer coming out into this food plot uh, I'll show you some sped up trail cam footage of this food plot uh, like a week ago. I haven't checked that card in quite a while but uh, I think we're going to see some deer tonight so stick with me and we'll launch a recurve. I do have my compound if uh, you know a huge buck comes out somewhere and uh, it's a little outside my recurve range of 20 yards so Fingers crossed, big doe steps out. I notice uh, those bushes right on the edge of the plot are pretty tore up right there. A few rubs.
That's a wrap on uh, this evening's hunt. It was super uneventful. I saw two spikes, two doe, and that was pretty much it. I had a big woodchuck come out in the food plot at 35 yards and shot right over the darn thing. Uh, so I know I owe you 10 push-ups before I get a million comments about that. Okay, we're gonna be back after and soon. Uh, maybe tomorrow evening, I'm not sure. It depends on the weather and the wind and all that good stuff. But I appreciate everybody watching. This one wasn't nearly as exciting as the bear kill, but they're not all like that. So uh, we'll see you tomorrow.